Hello, friends. So this story is another silly story, another fiction story about a farm animal. Now, if you look at this book, I want you to look at the cover and think about what this story might be about. And I see a pig. Now, if it was about a pig, I might expect to see the word pig in the title. But I'm going to really notice the details on the cover. And I notice some frogs. I notice a pond and I notice a rock and it looks like the pig is sitting on the rock in the pond. So that is where the silliness comes in. The author of this book is Rodrigo Fulgurinia, Ful, Fulgiria, Fulgiria. And the illustrator is Polly Bernatine. And the title is Ribbit. And there's an excitement mark at the end. So you can say that with me, Ribbit. Now think about why the title might be Ribbit, Ribbit. Once upon a time, there was a pond that, has, that was home to a family of frogs. It was their pond and they were very happy living there. But one morning they discovered a surprise visitor. It was a pig. A little pink pig sitting on a rock. Hmm, he doesn't look like he's bothering anybody, but they're very surprised. Look at them. Goodness, said the frogs. Why is there a pig in our pond? They whispered amongst themselves until finally the chief frog spoke up. <coughs> Good morning. What can we do for you? And to their amazement, the pig answered. Ribbit. What did he say? Cried the frogs. The pig, this pig is confused. Does he think he's a frog? Is he making fun of us? But again, all the little pig said was Ribbit. News of the little pig who thought he was a frog spread fast and all the other animals hurried to the pond to see the visitor. This new relative of yours is a little pink, said the raccoon. He's no relation of ours, declared the frogs. Well, he certainly sounds like a frog, said the weasel. Why would a pig want to be a frog, said the parrot. And what's wrong with being a frog, may we ask, exclaimed the frogs. So now they're all very confused, but they're kind of starting to argue. Hmm. Everyone started shouting at each other, completely ignoring the little pig, who just sat there practicing his ribbit. He's not bothering anybody. The animals laughed and laughed, and the frogs got angrier and angrier until finally the chief frog shouted out, Stop! We're not getting anywhere by fighting. We must go and find the wise old beetle. He'll know what to do. They're going to go look for some advice on how to solve this problem that they have. The wise old beetle gasped all the animals, but he hates to be disturbed. I know, said the chief frog, but this is very serious. That's true, the animals agreed, and off they went. So disturbed means bothered. So they have another character who they look for, they look to for advice. It's like when we have a problem and we go to a grown up when we don't understand something and we trust them. So we go to them to ask them questions to help us understand something or fix problems. And the little pig said, Rubbit? The animals found the wise old beetle and tried to explain their problem. It was hard for him to understand because they were all talking at once, and in the end, he agreed to go with them to the pond. But when they arrived, hmm, what do you see? The pig was gone. Where did the pig go? The animals cried. Who was he? What did he want? Maybe, said the wise old beetle, he just wanted to make new friends. 
and off they went. So sometimes somebody might just want to be your friend. And then when they, you argue or you say things that make them feel sad, then they leave. Even if they're different from you, it's okay. Oh dear, said the animals, they hadn't even thought about that. So now they're feeling sad and now they're a little worried about that pig. Let's see if they can fix their problem. And sure enough, sitting on a branch high up in a tree nearby was a little pig. And now this little pig is saying, Twee! So now he just wants to go and hang out with the birds and be like a bird for a little bit. So it is okay to have friends that are not just like you. And he was surrounded by many new friends. So the duck and the weasel and the frogs and the raccoon, the birds and the fr all these frogs and the turtle, and they're all saying, tweet, 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 tweet. So it is okay to think about making some friends that aren't like you. And we should never, ever, ever make people feel sad for wanting to be a little bit different. So he was not like a lot of other pigs, but he didn't do anything to hurt the frogs. He didn't do anything to hurt any of the other animals. They just never asked him or didn't give him time to explain that he just wanted to make some new friends. So I thought this was a great, great story. So we can always think about that too. I hope you liked it too.